When I say bananas, you say peppers. You guys may notice that I'm wearing the same shirt, the same makeup that I did when I uh, unbagged this bag. But I could not wait any longer, you guys. My curiosity is getting the best of me and I want to know what is in this bag? Is it gonna have more interesting stuff in it or less interesting stuff in it than the last Disney travel bag we unbagged? But I have to know right now, like maybe there's some hidden treasure in here that I've spent months looking for. So in case you guys did not watch my last like what the hell is in this bag video, I will go ahead and plug it in here. But basically to catch you guys up, if you didn't watch the last one, we are un packing and organizing the contents of my standard Disney travel bags. The bags that I take to Disney every time with me when I travel. I realize I pack like way too much luggage because I swear I normally bring like regular luggage and then these two bags, it's a mess. Anyway, this bag is from UNIF. I want to say maybe I got this in 2015. It's so amazing. I feel like it's so durable. I've taken it on so many trips with me, but now I just use it for Disney every single year because basically I have not traveled anywhere else in a very, very, very long time. Right on top, wow, this is amazing. It's a bra, oh no, you guys. I think I left it in here too long. It's like all ripply. Eh. It's solid black. I guess that doesn't really affect anything. It's a bra. Ooh, is this a hair dryer? Oh no. Oh my God. It's my gator straightener. Attach oh my God. It's a sack of children. So many things somehow stuck together. Oh my God. It's a phone cord too. Is this a phone charger? I don't know what the heck this charge is. It's like one of those types of chargers. Also, it is my gator flat iron do any banana peppers out there do y'all have this it's so old and dead but it exists uh okay and the sack of children in my last video i mentioned that i have like tiny avatar babies that i don't think i've ever shown you guys the unboxing video i'm sure i filmed it at some point in time but i probably never showed them to you guys so i think maybe these are the smallest avatar babies i have in my collection they are twins and oh no it looks like some of their clothes are no longer with us so one is a boy one is a girl they're itty bitty teeny tiny super cute can you guys guess which one is the boy and which one is the girl okay three two one girl boy they have really 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 cute faces they're like super uh, squishy like all my avatar babies they have little hairy tails these are pretty cute you guys so these are the ones that i was telling you guys look here's the bag from the last video. Although I feel like the straps are maybe too long. I don't know. Does that work? Maybe not. Maybe she needs a smaller bag. And they have a piece of my hair attached to them. That's truly amazing. Anyway, uh, moving on. You guys, I feel like I could do like a whole Avatar Baby collection video with just all the different ones I have. Tiny ones, pink ones, blue ones. All right, up next, I have a box of beauty blenders. What is this one called? The Diamond Sponge. Um, but these, I gotta wash them now because I traveled with them. Even though they are technically clean, I will still rewash them before I use them again. Up next, oh my God, what a handy dandy thing to find right now. You guys know I love these things. Normally they're very easy to get from Walmart. They're these little single alcohol wipes, but they are great for disinfecting all kinds of tiny little things. I use them a lot in my makeup area. I use them for like sunglasses, just like all kinds of teeny tiny small sanitization that I like to do, but I'm glad. This is like almost a full box. All right, up next. Ooh, is this a pair of sunglasses I've been looking for forever? See, that's why I wanted to actually like unbag these things because I'm not traveling. I am not traveling anywhere. Um, let's find out oh my god this is like one of my absolute favorite pairs of sunglasses this is where they've been all these months so oh my gosh i love these i love all kinds of like sparkly sunglasses i feel like i definitely need to clean them though because they look like they have sunscreen fingerprints all over them this bag is kind of weird 
in and to itself, right? I got this little bag from Yes Style. I think it's meant to actually hold some kind of makeup, but I don't know what kind of makeup this would hold because it's really tiny. And I also don't know why it says time for an eat nap on it, right? I think it's supposed to say cat nap, but that really looks like an E. I just thought that this was like kind of hilarious, if I'm being honest. And inside of it is gonna be some kind of Oh my god, it's my perfume! I thought it was gonna be like some kind of soap, so I was like, ugh, like carefully unwrapping it. But no, it's this perfume that I've been missing for a really long time. Um, it's called Sci-Fi, so that's clearly why I bought it. I got it from Sephora. I forgot how good this smells. Glad I found that again. Up next, this is from an awesome brand and I swear like what do they call that like alter ego is that what that is called if that's not what that's called I don't know like if you had a completely different style than a style you would ever wear is that is there a is there a term for that I don't know in my mind I would be one of those like super like raver people do you know what I mean just going to raves all the time I'd probably have like blue hair with tons of like extensions in it that is why I love this brand I um originally discovered them on Dolls Kill and they make so many amazing accessories so I don't think this bag will turn on unfortunately that's what this charger cord is for I bet will it turn on no okay so anyway it um there's like this phone app that you can use and it has a scrolling message you can program whatever you want for it to say I think that there's also like some symbols you can use like hearts and smiley faces and stuff and so um, I think I was making it say Swamp Family or something, but it's this really cool fanny pack. It has one of these kind of like roller coaster. I think that's what these are called, like roller coaster belt buckle type things. But it's just so, it's so neat. I love stuff like that, like accessories that light up and glow and you can customize them. Oh, I have my deluxe bottle of Advil in here. Hopefully this one hasn't expired. Ooh, 921. I better get to chugging Advil. We never um, played this yet, but one of Dogman and I's favorite games to play is Farkle. And we got this alien Farkle. It's like a dice game. Okay, now I have to open it because I want to know what makes it alien Farkle. Like, I wonder if the dice, do they have UFOs? Do they have aliens on them? Alien Farkle, alien Farkle. That is like actually really cool. The dice don't have like symbols or pictures on them or anything, but they do look like they're gonna glow in the dark, which is one of my favorite aesthetics in life. Up next, I have an assortment of hair clips. I've got one like this and one like this, which these things work surprisingly well in my hair, or maybe not so surprisingly because they are alligator clips. Up next, I have one of these things, which I wonder and hope that this company is still in business because they made some of the coolest little like backup battery phone charger things and actually like charging cables, like just a bunch of cool looking stuff. The company is called Buku, it's spelled like that. But this is one of my favorite little backup phone battery charger things. It's a little ghost and it's on this like big kind of carbiner clip. So they are great for taking to Disney and stuff. Like a lot of times if I'm wearing like denim shorts or something, I will like clip this on my belt loop because inevitably when I'm at Disney, I'm taking a ton of pictures and my battery, it used to die more frequently. I feel like actually the newer model of iPhone does die a lot less frequently. So that's a good thing. Up next, I have some of these things, which I haven't tested these out yet. I think that they are a little bit more expensive than the ones that I normally use, but they are silicone, but I always use disposable eyelash or mascara wands. I just feel like it's cleaner and more sanitary. Up next, I have an assortment of hair stuff. I have uh, my favorite flavor of Batiste dry shampoo, which is called Sassy and Daring wild it's in the leopard can and then i have this brush oh uh this is from skinny dip london they make a lot of other like really cute accessories and handbags and stuff but this is a shell detangling brush it's kind of like one of the only types of brushes that i actually use on my hair because i feel like it's not damaging because the bristles are like so soft and bendy they bend before they tear your hair out up next i have a whole card 
almost a whole card of goody ouchless elastics in fun neon colors. Next I have a red bite beauty lip liner pencil. This is definitely, ew, too nasty to use at this point. It's just a mess. Do you guys see this mess? Bless this mess. This stuff works so well. It is a Gold Bond hand cream. It's in this like tiny, it has like a nozzle like that, almost like Neosporin. But if you're like me and you continuously basically wash your hands to the point that they bleed, uh, this is really good for applying at night before you go to sleep. It is called Cracked Skin Relief. That sounds very attractive but this stuff really actually works overnight and I wish I had more of it because I feel like that is almost gone. Ooh, is there actually Regal Rose jewelry inside of here? This is one of my longest wearing like favorite jewelry brands of all time and yes okay so there are a couple of really awesome pieces in here which hopefully they are still making these. They're doing new collections all the time but this piece is so cool. It is like a giant skeleton key necklace. And then this I probably meant to put on my sunglasses because these things are so cool and I'm glad. I feel like these are like coming back in style. It is a sunglasses chain. So this one has these really cool swords on it. And then they have these like little silicone grippers on the end so you can slide them onto all different kinds of like thin or thick um, sunglasses. And then you can, you know, wear it like a necklace and hang your sunglasses from your neck, which is of course very convenient when you're at an amusement park. I wonder if I've carried this one or took this one on a trip since this time last year when we took our last spring Disney trip last April. Up next I have this like random, I think that this came from an Instax camera. Where's the camera? Um, and then I have this which oh my god this is probably like so nasty. Why do I keep things? Oh is it nasty? Is this usable? It actually doesn't look that nasty. So this is technically a soap tin from this brand. I can never pronounce Cora's I think but it actually has a lush shampoo bar in there. Can I still use this? It doesn't look like it has like fungus or anything on it. I don't know. I'm usually pretty good about drying these things off and then putting them in some kind of tin. I think that this is a coffee version and I'm sorry for the fact that it has a couple strands of my nasty hair attached to it. Just pretend like you didn't see that. Only a couple things left. I have a very dirty lip liner pencil sharpener and I have some loose little alcohol wipey pads. Also I have my Murad oil control mattifier. I hope that this is still good. I don't know when these things expire but hopefully I can still use it. This is an amazing product and it has SPF in it which is why I always take products like this with me to Disney. I have some dried up crusty eyelash glue. That's what everyone wants to find in the bottom of their bag. And I think that this is the last item in here. Yes, it is. Um, I use these if I have a hangnail or to trim the band of my eyelashes. But these are so cute. I got these from Yes Style a year or so ago now. But they are little Hello Kitty. I think they are technically eyelash scissors. But they came with this little Hello Kitty charm. And it's so cute. So that was it in this bag. Which travel bag did you guys think was more interesting? Maybe I'll remember to plug a poll in here. Did you guys think that the soup bag was more interesting or this uh, big old Unif duffel bag? Let me know. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. Until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all again very, very soon. I don't know what this like weird dance is that I'm doing. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much. Bye.